couple of vlogs ago I bought this little bag and I'm going to use it for the first time so let's pack it together. I just have a lash appointment in 30 minutes so I have to low-key hurry up. Let's pack some necessities. Wallet. I'm going to bring some peptide lip treatment. Perfume. I'm going to bring <laughs> my lip liner but it's not sharpened so I'm going to sharpen it real quick. Lip liner. Earphones. Gum. Lip balm. That's basically it. All that I'm missing is just keys. So I'll put that last. This bag is so cute. I'll show you my outfit. I'm wearing some sweatpants. These are Motel Rocks. And then this big ass shirt, which is an old shirt of mine that I just wore inside out and cropped. <laughs> it's cute. And then the bag. I'm probably going to wear a sweater or like a light jacket. Not sure. I love being comfy on lash day because I nap. I literally fall asleep for two hours and it's like the best nap of my life because I don't nap. I'm not a nap type person. It's so hard for me to nap. Once I'm up, I'm up. But when I get my lashes done, I get so restless, so I force myself to nap. I just focus on sleeping and then I fall asleep and I have the best lash appointment ever. One thing I gotta do for sure is eat because, oh my god, nothing's more embarrassing than getting your lashes done and then your belly grumbles so loud. Happened to me before. And I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> I'm thinking just simple avocado toast. I know my house is a mess. So I don't even pay attention to that. When I come back from my lash appointment, I want to shoot my intro to this video. I'm starting a Y2K series on my channel and I'm so excited for it. Oh my god. It's crazy because you guys are seeing into the future for me. Like I don't know how this intro is going to come out, but you already know how it looks because you've already seen it before I've seen it. I have a really clear vision of what I want. So it's all about executing now, and I'm excited. I thought hard and deep about how I want this intro to be. Oh, this avocado is nasty. Maybe this one's better. I'm very, very excited for this intro. Like, oh my god. But I love coming up with concepts and then executing. Like, it's so much fun for me. And this is just going to be one of those moments where I'm thinking about a video idea, and then I'm going to do it. I got to go. This is the saddest avocado toast ever. Like, oh my god. My avocado to toast ratio is so off. I'm gonna eat this super quick. Don't worry. Ah, <gasps> so is pretty. It, is it good? Yes. The same as last time, I think. I love, yeah. Uh -huh. So good, thank you. Yeah. I'm obsessed. How you know? I'm about to shoot my little intro. I'm really excited. Last night I drew up an outline. Look at my little stick people. I drip a whole thing so I have a plan. I'm the type of person that needs to write everything out before I can execute because I just get so scrambled if everything stays in my head. I wrote every scene out. I have four scenes I need to shoot. I did my looks also. Let me show you that actually. I'm wearing like part of look one. Just the hair and the, the fuzzy thing. I also put my fits out. These are all my fits. Keep in mind it's very Y2K style so I have like leg warmers and a scarf. I have my skirt. That cute top that's so Y2K. Best jacket. My glasses. Very on theme too. I also got some lollipops and hubba bubba. Because those are iconic snacks that gives me just Y2K vibes. I'm about to shoot this really quick. I'm super excited. I think it's going to look really cute. I've gotten a lot done actually. I filmed a scene and a half. I'm almost done the next scene. I'm at scene two, look two. So my concept for this scene, <laughs> I hope this focuses, but there's gonna be one me in the front, in the foreground, and another me in the background. I got this idea from Pinterest. I was looking for Y2K inspo, and I saw this pic, and I got so inspired, I thought I had to do this in video form. The goal of this is to look tacky. I'm trying to look really tacky. And I feel like I'm succeeding, especially with these clips. They're so obnoxious that it fits the vibe. Some lip gloss and this look is complete. Oh, okay. That's nice. I'm wearing leg warmers on my arms. And this top, it's super early 2000s. Let me show you the outfit. It's actually really cute. I'm wearing a double layered skirt and then leg warmers on my arms. This top, the glasses. Super early 2000s. <laughs> this is kind of funny. So this would not be a 2000s look without a pointy toe boot so I have to wear these ones I got some hubba bubba because in this scene I want to be blowing bubbles I haven't blown bubbles since I was a kid I don't know if I could still do it 
Hubba Bubba is the bubble gum we make bubbles with. Bubba 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 Bubba. I didn't want it to pop on my face, but looks like I still got it. I'm so happy I didn't lose this talent. It's an art. I'm about to film the fourth scene before the third. Because that's just the order of things. I'm gonna do like a zigzag part. I've actually never done this. How do I? This is hard. Wait, how do you guys do zigzags? Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Give me one second. I got the part. Now I wanna take out some hair. I took out some hair, now I need to put gel in. That's what I need to do. Okay. It's hard to do this and keep the parts on oh the good. So I'm going to do a bun and try to make it stick up a little. I think I just need to do my edges a bit. I did like pretty obvious edges. This is actually really cute. From the front, I don't know. Should I turn around? Do you want to see? Is it bad? Yeah, this feels bad. That, that feels like it's sticking up so far out. See you in a bit. Okay, this is my haul gluten-free bread, these um, gluten-free cookies, these are so good, three yellow mangoes, one green mango, or those red mangoes, red mangoes, another type of mango, some spicy chickpeas, oh my god, some raw broccoli, I love raw broccoli, aloe water, granola for my yogurt, this is coconut milk mango passion fruit yogurt so good waffles grapes some gluten-free oatmeal this is really good low in sugar too i think and then coconut flakes it's april 15th good morning i need to show you the hair i did yesterday it came out so cute you just need a little medium size clip and these little elastics to middle part your hair and then we're going to do a slick back, but tie it lower than the middle of your head. Just a little bit lower. Then I'm going to use some got to be gel. I did a wing today. It took me forever because I'm not used to doing wings anymore. But they're cute. I love having a wing and lashes. I just don't have the patience to do them all the time. So I never really do wings. I'm going to tie with these little elastics. I do too, just in case the one breaks. Okay, now that we have this cute little ponytail, I'm going to clip my hair. A little twisty twist. Hold it. And then my hair just lays all cute on top of it. It's literally like the cutest little boot. It's like a little puff ball, it's so cute. I made a bald spot. I feel like if you have longer hair too and you just curl this part, it would be really, really cute. Really adorable. Or if you have curly hair, just leave your curls out. That's so cute. Let me wash my hands. I also wanted to try my new highlighter together. Um, this is in the shade Exhilarate. Let's see. Oh, it looks very pigmented. Ooh, wait. Wow. This is actually really beautiful. This is exactly what I was looking for, and it's a good shade match for me. It's not too dark when you put it on. 
Can you see the glow? I like bringing in my highlight um, deeper into my face. Wow, this highlight is stunning! <gasps> wow. I think this is my new favorite highlighter. Okay, I'm ready for my day. I feel cute and I look cute. I was editing my intro, but it got so sunny and I need to leave my house. It's too pretty outside to not be outside. I also changed my tank top because the other one was so annoying, it keeps riding up. The, the bottom of the tank top is not hemmed. So anytime you like move your arms or lift your arms up, it just rolls all the way up to your tits and it's just not practical. It's like literally the most annoying thing. So I took it off, put on this black tank top. Now I'm cutting up a mango. I went to an Asian market yesterday and I found these ripe ass yellow mangoes and I just, oh my God. It was three for 10 and I got three mangoes. For ten dollars, I feel like that's also really expensive. Three mangoes for ten bucks is a lot of money, but I live in Canada. What can you say? Wow. I get so nervous and like so flustered from parking. It just stresses me out. It's hot, so let's go on a little walk. You know, it's sunny outside, like, what else am I supposed to do but walk? So my car is making this weird sound. It says to add blue. But, like, what does blue mean? No restart in 160 kilometers. Like, do you mean my car won't start in 160 kilometers? Add blue. Does blue mean, like, windshield stuff? Like, the windshield wiper fluid? Because what the hell is blue in my car? I realize that I don't have to drink my matcha where I buy it. I don't know why, but I just subconsciously thought when I buy my matcha and I want to sit down and journal, I have to sit down and journal at the spot I bought my matcha at when I don't have to do that. I'm not tied to no building. Way more of a vibe over here. It smells nice. There's a bathroom. This place is also so aesthetic and well decorated. It's like good for the mind. My soul feels nice here. Let's do an utida. I'm wearing some Balenciaga sweatpants. These are so cute and huge. I love humongous pants. I'm wearing a little tank top. This is actually shapewear. I got it at the thrift store. And then this shrug from Urban. I love shrugs. They're so convenient. Can't really have a figure in sweaters. But this is best of both worlds. I get to show off my tummy and have some warmth. Love that. For shoes, I'm wearing these boots. I don't know what they're called, but... Turns out, Ad Blue is something that diesel cars need. And your car won't start if you don't have any. I'm at Canadian Tire to find some ad blue. This is such grown up stuff. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Maybe I should Google it. It says blue. Do you think it's this? I think it might be this. Okay. Yeah, it says ad blue on the bottom. Ad blue for diesel. Wow, look at me. This is so heavy and I have to bring it to my car. I parked Loki far. <laughs> oh no. I finally made it to my car. That was so heavy. I do not want to go get it done at the garage, so I'm just going to do it myself. I watched a tutorial. It seems pretty easy. Apparently it's under this. Oh yeah, see this is literally what I need to do. Add blue. Instructions, but how do I keep this up? Am I tripping? There's no way to hold it. Yeah, that's asking way too much of me. Not gonna happen. I tried lifting that tire. It is so heavy. I feel like this is just something I shouldn't have to do. So I'm gonna ask for help, cause no. I'm all about independent women shit, but I draw the line at mechanics. I'm gonna go, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Love you too, guys. Bye.